Hello everyone. My name is Piru Dawin and today, I will be talking to all my viewers about how much water should a kidney disease patient consume in a day. With this I will also be shedding some light on the effects of consuming excess water by CKD patients. In a healthy human being, water constitutes around 70% of the entire body. With this keeping yourself hydrated is necessary. But in a kidney patient, even drinking normal amount of water can have a totally opposite direction. Let me explain how. Whenever an individual consumes water, it is circulated throughout the body. After it has fulfilled its purpose, the kidneys treat the extra water which is excreted from the body via urine. Now in a kidney failure patient, the process of this filtration is reduced thereby not letting the extra water leave the body via urine. This is where all the problems start from. With the excess water not being able to flush out by the body, its accumulation often leads to pedal edema, pneumonia, high blood pressure, and even breathlessness. Often, we see that kidney patients have swelling in the lower part of their legs in the start. Now for the scary part. While you see water retention in your legs, it doesn't take long for this fluid to travel all the way to an individual's lungs, which can stimulate a drowning-like feeling in many situations. Coming to the main question now on how much water should be consumed by a kidney patient. The answer to this is no one knows. You heard me correct. Often, I see my patients comparing themselves to other patients regarding the amount of water intake. To this I always have the same reply. Every kidney patient's water intake depends on several factors. From the levels of kidney functioning the patient has, to the climate he or she is living. There are other factors, such as skin type and profession, all of which plays an important role in deciding the amount of water that can be consumed by a kidney patient. Therefore, a person living in a cold climate will sweat less thereby, making the fluid consumption to go down and vice versa. Now coming back to the main question again. How much fluid can a kidney patient consume? Well, what if I tell you all that? It depends on the condition of the patient. Yes. Let me explain. If a patient is suffering from water retention in his or her legs, this means that the body already has an excess amount of water. In such situation, my advice to all my viewers would be to not consume more than 100 ml of water per day. With this, it also becomes important for that patient to urinate more so that the excess fluid can be thrown out in less span of time. On the other hand, if there is no retention of water in a kidney patient, my advice would be to take extra precautions while consuming water. I usually tell my patients not to consume more than 100 ml of water at one go and repeat the process whenever there is a feeling of thirst. It is completely normal for a person to feel thirsty as it is an indication that the fluid levels are less as compared to normal. Some common signs of this would be dry lips and throat with difficulty in speaking. Under such situations, a kidney patient can consume another 100 ml after 5-10 minutes, which will make sure that the fluid levels do not rise and the feeling if thirst is gone. This exercise also removes the need to keep a tab on how much fluid has been consumed as drinking small amounts at intervals will not let any fluid accumulation to take place. Let me make it simpler. There are two reasons for the fluid accumulation to stop when following my advice as firstly, the patient only consumes water whenever there is a feeling of thirst, and because the water is consumed at intervals, it gives the body time to produce urine and throw out the excess fluid. Therefore, the process of fluid accumulation doesn't take place at all, and this in turn lets the body to throw other waste materials, such as create 9 and urea out in a proper manner, which will for sure improve the kidney functioning as well. So we are not only not letting the fluid accumulation to take place, and with that we are also getting the body to throw out extra waste, which in a kidney patient's get accumulated. It is necessary for every kidney patient to follow this exercise if they want to be relieved of swelling in legs as well as other complications like the fluid traveling all the way to the lungs resulting in a collapse. With this, we have reached the end of today's video. I hope I was able to clear all your doubts regarding how much water should be consumed by a kidney patient as well as the consequences of having too much fluid. But still, if you have any questions, you write them below in the comment section, and I will be helping you all in every which way I can. Till then, take care, and I'll see you next time.